Welcome to Silent Hill 4 The Room. The first Silent Hill game I played just about a month ago was Silent Hill 1, and then I played Silent Hill 3 because it was the direct sequel, and then most recently I played Silent Hill Shattered Memories because it was a reimagining of the first. At this point, with those three games out of the way, I feel like the rest of the Silent Hill games are pretty much just play whatever order you want, they're not really particularly connected. Other than maybe Silent Hill Origins, which I think is a prequel to everything, but I don't think I need to play that right after playing like the first game or something. So I figured why not start now with Silent Hill for the room. This is the last Silent Hill game that was made by Team Silent, a division of Konami. All the ones after this were made by other companies, Climax Studios, made Shattered Memories, for example, and there's, I think, maybe one or two other studios that made some of the other games. Even though this was made by Team Silent, from what I've seen in the Wikipedia article for this game, it sounds like they tried to do things a bit differently for this one, rather than sticking with the same Silent Hill formula. I think it'll be pretty similar, but it sounds like it might focus more on combat. Um, there are some small sections when you're in your apartment where you have a first person view. It's also not set in the town of Silent Hill, weirdly enough. That's probably the weirdest thing to me. I can't imagine a Silent Hill game not set in Silent Hill. Yeah, let's get going. New game, let's play on normal. I also do want to mention that I have seen some little bits and pieces of this game. Very, very little, and I basically don't remember them at all. But it's a mostly fresh playthrough. It was two years ago that Henry Townsend moved into room 302 of South Ashfield Heights, an apartment building in the medium-sized city of Ashfield. Henry was happy and enjoying his new life. But five days ago, something strange happened. He began to have a reoccurring dream each night. One other thing. He couldn't leave room 302. So I've played it for just like one minute, just to check the settings and see if the op <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> what? Why was there a Wilhelm scream? Okay. Um, yeah, I played it just for like one minute. I just wandered around this room for just a tiny, tiny bit just to check the audio settings and whatnot. Other than that, I haven't played it recently. I have played a little bit of it, what feels like a million years ago and maybe seen a tiny bit of it, but mostly fresh, like I said. So, this is our quote-unquote nightmare, which I think is more than just a dream. I mean, come on, it's Silent Hill. It's so odd to have a first-person view. I think it's just in the apartment building so you can more closely examine your own room, be closer to the horrors, but it just feels very strange. Especially since the tank controls are actually still present, even in the first-person view, so left and right doesn't strafe, it just rotates the view. Which I can also do the exact same thing with the right stick, because looking right and left with the right stick is the same thing as looking or moving right and left with the left stick. Feels very odd. I'm trying to figure out if this is the other world. The messed up world where everything's rusty and horrible. On one hand, things obviously are way dirtier than they would actually be. They do look kind of dirty and rusty, but things don't look quite as messed up as the other world usually is. It's pretty messed up, though. What's with this room? It's covered in blood and rust. This is my room, but what the hell's happened to it? This 
this room? Is it really my room? Oh, that's good. I love how when you first come out of the room, you're looking at the door that you just came from. So you hear all this noise, but you have to turn to see it. Oh no, we weren't facing our own door. We were just facing the other door on the other side of the hall. Still the same effect, but... Means I need to go in here. The door's shut tight, it won't open at all, never mind. It's in terrible shape. The air is so heavy. My head hurts. Where did this big TV come from? I thought I had a record player here. I just want to stop this noise, it's horrible. Don't even know what this is. I think it's a radio, I think that's where most of the static's coming from. It's part of an old picture book. There once was a baby and a mother who were connected by a magical cord. But one day the cord was cut and the mother went to sleep. The baby was left all alone. But the baby made lots of friends at Wish House. And everyone was very nice to him. The baby was happy. It's ripped here and I can't read anymore. It's interesting how the rest of the audio in the game gets quieter when you examine something, even though there's no actual voiceover playing. But it's quieted as if there was. I mean, I love it. It's perfect for me because it allows me to concentrate a little bit more on what's, what's here rather than the horrible noise in the background. And I don't have to lower the audio for these parts for you to be able to hear what I'm saying. I hope we're happy at the end of the story. Who is this guy? Is that not us? Who are all these people? 21 people. Can't be. Why are they here? Looks like a pile of bodies. Creepy. Looks like a face. Yeah, I think it is a face. What is this photo? It's all faded and I can't see it well. What's this? Guess it used to be a place to sit, maybe?
a dream. Just a dream. I like that we get to immediately explore the same space, but now everything looks actually for real normal. Gives us an idea of what this place is supposed to look like. Who am I calling? It's still not working. The number's not working, or just the phone in general? Connected. The cord's cut. It's a brand new scrapbook. You can view the contents of the scrapbook by pressing the triangle button. Was that the triangle button? Still haven't got anything. Yeah, I guess I just don't have anything. Is that someone we know? It's so weird to see so much life in a Silent Hill game. Though I guess the uh, the thing is, it's life outside, and I'm sure we can't go outside. We can only view it through a window. Oh, what is this? This is like all viewing through the window thing. Ah, oh, see, if I was still playing Silent Hill Shattered Memories, which by the way was not a very good game at all, but one cool thing is when I saw that number up there, 555-3750, in that game, I'd be able to dial it. What's that? Am I tapping on the glass? So I can just look out at any minute. Oh, someone down there. I can't seem to zoom in and look any closer. Maybe that's an item you find. Binoculars or something. It could be a peeping tom. The person down there just clapped. They're happy. I think I am maybe bashing on the window. The window like moves a tiny bit. It's like somebody help me. This door is unlocked now. Just a normal bathroom. Nothing has changed since I moved here two years ago. That's a pretty nasty bathtub. Can I see myself? Nope. Don't feel like washing my face right now. Nothing to do here. Do 
Just the typical stuff you find around a sink, nothing particularly interesting. Yeah, that's normal. This chest could hold a lot of stuff. Oh. There's a whole container system. Huh. I wonder if that's like a safe box. Where like you put loot in it and you can find the same sort of box in other places in the map and get the same loot out of it. Like a cross-dimensional magic box. It's weird. A few days ago, the power to my TV and my VCR just stopped coming on. Ever since I started having those nightmares. Looks like a scrap from some book. Man, this thing looks like it was written ages ago. Through the ritual of the Holy Assumption, he built a world and exists in a space separate from the world of our Lord. More accurately, it is within yet without the Lord's world. Unlike the world of our Lord, it is a world in extreme flux. Unexpected doors or walls, moving floors, odd creatures, a world only he can control. Anyone swallowed up by that world will live there for eternity, undying. They will haunt that realm as a spirit. How can our Lord forgive such an abomination? This part of the book is too damaged to read. It is important to travel lightly in that world. He who carries too heavy a burden will regret it. And that's it. Put the book scrap in your scrapbook. It feels a little on the nose to see that about the other world after we just visited slash are visiting it. I mean, again, this isn't the normal world. This obviously is not normal, but it's more normal than the other world we just saw in our quote unquote nightmare. So how does a scrapbook work? Oh, that's just the book scrap within our scrap book. So you just select from a big list and it just takes you to the, the thing, just as if you had found it right in front of you, it looks like. Oh. That's our safe spot, okay. It's a pretty nondescript book for that to be a save point. The main power is off. So even if I press it, nothing happens. I got this photo from Frank Sunderland, the super here at South Ashfield Heights. I'm going to save that part of the wall where the face was for last. Laundry room. Clothes dryer. Don't need that right now. Washing machine. Nothing interesting. Tools and things on the ground. Can't take them. Guess I don't have need of any tools right now. Tank filled with oil. Five days ago, that's when I first had the nightmare. Haven't been able to get out of my room since then. The phone doesn't work. The TV doesn't work. Can't even get something something. My whole world has suddenly turned insane. My door is chained up. The windows are sealed shut. 
and on top of that, someone chained the door from the inside. How am I going to get out of here? Don't go out, Walter. What the hell? What's going on here? That's Aileen Galvin from next door. Oh man. I hope my luck changes before the party. What was that? Was it not in here? Was it in the bathroom? See anything? Ah. I think that's how I leave my apartment. I wonder if I can out this way. Oh my god, do I hear whispers coming from in there? Okay, so we learned something interesting just a couple minutes ago about this door. Haven't been able to get out of the apartment for, what was it, five days? And it's been chained up from the inside ever since we started having that nightmare? And there's a message on it that says, don't go out, Walter. Again, written on the inside. So that's why my character didn't, like, freak out when seeing it for the first time, because this isn't the first time they've seen it. They've been trapped here for a while. They said the power's out, uh, I guess on the building, because I see lights on, but the power's out on the TV. It doesn't work anymore. Guess we probably still have running water, otherwise we would have died from dehydration. But yeah, everything's messed up here. I mean, kind of messed up, as it is now. Super messed up when we're in the nightmare. But everything seems normal outside, through the window. It looks like normal people. But I can bang on the window, nobody hears. I mean, I'm like 10 stories up, why would they hear? Can't open the window. Up until a few days ago, it was no problem. Ever since I started having those nightmares. I like this, I, I love this as a setup for the rest of the game. Just as like a location to have your home become your prison. Obviously we're going to leave the room, but I'm still trying to escape through the front door because it seems like through the front door is the normal world. Is that a health drink? Chocolate milk here. Take the chocolate milk? Heck yeah! Chocolate flavored milk, very sweet. It was in the refrigerator at home. White wine. Take the bottle of white wine, sure. 
Uh, it'll break eventually if I keep using it as a weapon. Oh, so I can use it as a weapon for a limited time. Uh, could you close the fridge? No? Oh, thank god. I hope chocolate milk is our new health drink. Don't feel like washing my hands right now. I don't really feel like cooking. It's a photo of me as a kid, and then when I graduated from high school. My shoes. Don't need to change them right now. What's this? Mom, why doesn't you wake up? Written by a little kid? First letter in your scrapbook. It's like bloody handprints on the wall. I don't know how normal the outside actually is. That person seemed normal, but the bloody handprints certainly don't. I see two locks. Obviously like a million chains, but only two. Two locks? I wonder if I'll eventually find the keys. Or just find bolt cutters or something and open this damn thing. Let's save. I think it's time to go through the dark whispering hole. The sewage pipe's broken too. Pull on the part hanging down. You got a steel pipe. Three foot long sewer pipe, not very powerful, but fairly easy to use. <laughs> Classic weapon. Always gotta have a pipe as a weapon in Silent Hill. Enter the hole. Yes. to actually crawl through it. Oh, I love that. Was so cool. I'm going down an escalator? What the hell? How did we get from the hole to here?
Oh, whoa. The controls. The controls are totally different from the first two Silent Hills that I played. Silent Hill 1 and 3. Both of those had tank controls. This one... doesn't. No, it's... It's got, uh, what would you call it? I guess, like, uh, camera relative? Yeah, it's got camera relative controls. Whichever direction you move the stick in, your character moves in that direction. Relative to the camera. That is so different. That is so different. It feels immediately way different. And also, I can move so much more accurately. I gotta say, though, that... Walking animation for, uh, what's my name? Something Ashfield? It's pretty funky looking. Looks kind of goofy. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So far, I really like it. It's changed enough that it's interesting and fresh, but still familiar enough and a hell of a strong beginning. Yeah, I love it so far. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.